it's time I give this brand a second chance. And I bought three items from Portland Leather Goods. Yes, three items. I need to try them, give them another go. So if you want to know what's in my Portland Leather Goods unboxing, then keep on watching. everyone my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new here and thanks for joining me in the babe cave and today is so special because I have a collaboration with the one the only Autumn Beckman Yes. and I just uh, reached out to her and said you know I'd like to collab with you sometime and she she went for it and here I am collabing with her on Portland Leather Goods. Now I know I did a video of Portland Leather Goods versus Go, Go Forth Goods and I really love my Go Forth Goods. And my other one was a trade and I got the Lola Crossbody in Fog. And I still have it. Uh, I just felt that, which I still am in, <laughs> My Go Forth Goods Mini Avery was just built a little bit better quality. I don't know. I just, they're let, but this is bison leather. And, you know, they have a lot of different features. But, you know what? They had a color on Portland Leather Goods that, and a shape of a style of bag I've never had. And so, I said, you know what? I'm going to get some SLGs and a Portland Leather Good bag that I choose. <laughs> So here I am collabing with Autumn Beckman for this I have triple unboxing here. So thank you Autumn and thank you to whoever's coming over for her channel. Subscribe to me, subscribe to her. I've watched her a really long time. She's very informative and does close-up shots that are amazing so you know what you're gonna get. So that's what I really appreciate about her channel. So Anyway, I'm excited. So, and I'll have her video linked down below so you can go watch her video and see what she got from Portland Leather Goods after you watch mine, of course. So now let's get on to the small leather goods first and we're waiting on the box, which is the bag. Here is the small little item. And I ended up picking up I have not peeked. <laughs> I've been very good about not peeking. I got the, this is called the, let me put it up here, mini daisy wallet in the color pearl. So the color pearl has a little iridescent look to it, which looks like a silver button. Let me do this, this. I don't know if you can see the little sheen coming off there, but I wanted this color and it's called Pearl and it's the mini daisy wallet. It is mini size. So here's the raw leather inside. It smells good. <laughs> and I brought out some cards. It's a daisy wallet, mini daisy wallet. So I wanted to see how many cards would fit in it. So I have got about six cards in here of gift cards and they all fit i always wondered if you know your cards fit in these little tiny card wallets but it is measured perfectly for your credit cards or debit cards gift cards so perfect now on the cards if you're putting like gift cards or credit card they're a little bit harder plastic so i think a max to easily get these out is probably like four or five which is fine I don't have a whole lot of credit cards or debit cards so it's perfect but yeah I don't know if the sheen of it is coming off but it's the color pearl next is in here and I have been wanting to try this <laughs> it is called the taco tassel pouch and guess what color I got I probably should have got different colors, but 
this co oh wow this color is so neat i like the the subtle iridescent of the pearl and this is the little taco tassel cute very cute here's the back of it you see the shine more on this one and uh you probably can guess now what color my bag is Stay tuned. <laughs> you don't know what style I got. So this is the taco tassel. So here we have the, I love anything tassel on a zipper. So I always wanted to try this little taco tassel out. I think they have a smaller version, but I just went ahead and picked up the regular pouch size. And here it says, Portland Leather Goods on the pouch. Yeah, the iridescent is subtle, but very pretty. Light. It's a light white with a little gray with the little iridescent. That's how I would explain it. So here is my two SLGs. And yeah, you can tell this one's a little bit different color. This one, I hope, is the color of my bag that's coming out. Let this, <laughs> let's get this party started. It's time to enjoy your new handmade leather goods. We are so grateful to our loyal customers for, for supporting us. I've never bought anything from Portland Leather Goods, so here we go, trying a bag out for the second time. Oh, nice. On the back here, it shows the, I guess they have these dogs at their office i'm guessing in portland how cute is that <laughs> i loved when i see businesses have their animals or their pets with them during the day i think that is cool at the end i'll tell you what i paid for all three items and these are very affordable items <laughs> i think i picked it up on a sale too all right here it is can you tell <laughs> probably can tell can't you all right here we go it is the large circle because I've never had a circle bag before and Portland leather in the color pearl I hope this is coming off where you can see the shine to it I'm trying to do all angles because <laughs> the shine is so pretty. It's subtle, but it's very pretty. I believe I got the almost perfect and the large circle. And I have never seen one of these in person. <laughs> I like how they wrapped the, the strap around the bag. No problems with the strap, which is nice. It has kind of a brass colored hardware with it. And this is a front pocket where you could slip your phone. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it will fit your big phones right there. So right in the front will your phone go. The leather is, is really soft. I like the texture of this one. My other one that I got in trade did not have this texture. This is very soft and smooth. And this is the almost perfect. And it's so pretty. There's the bottom of it. Here, and then this is the zipper pull. If I can... Let's try out the... Let me give you a close-up of the back again. I hope you can see that shine. I've always shied away from light colored bags, but lately I've been wanting them more and more. So it's probably all these YouTubers that get the chalk in coach or, you know, those light colors. They are gorgeous. So I just worry about color transfer, but I wanted to try this pearl color. I, it, I think it's a unique shade, so I had to try it. So let, the zipper was smooth. Smells like leather, which I like. I said I got the almost perfect. Well, I think that's why 
maybe because it has this on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. And it has, in the back wall, it has a slip pocket. And then there's a small tag. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it down there where it says Portland Leather Goods. And it's just a raw, unfinished interior. Very nice. I mean, this is on the inside. So if that was on the outside, I would not keep the bag <laughs> at all. So, yeah, this is... And, you know, after the stuffing's out, <laughs> it's soft and squishy. Once I fill it up, I mean, this is a good size bag. Let me give you the dimensions of this bag. Okay, so the measurements I did was nine... And then this is nine, because it's a circle. And then two and a half wide. This is gonna fit all my essentials perfectly. I'm so glad it has Portland leather right here. My tray did not have any kind of branding at all on it. The sheen on this is so pretty. Okay, let's look at the strap. How many adjustments does it have? This has nine adjustments on it. And you can wear it shoulder, which might be a better option since it's light colored. I don't want my denim jeans to color transfer on the back. So yeah, nine adjustments. It can be crossbody or shoulder, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to find out because I'm going to do mod shots, of course. And here's the hardware. It's very pretty. Yeah, I'm impressed. I really am. I mean, even the strap is thicker and there's no flimsiness to it. It's a very nice, well-made bag. I don't know why it's almost perfect because I'm not really seeing other than, okay, up close this is smooth and this is more pebbly, but that doesn't bother me. You can't really tell. I think this is gorgeous. So let's try it on. All right, this is it on me. I didn't even adjust the strap. How cute is this? Ignore the leggings. I won't be wearing leggings with it. <laughs> I'll probably be wearing jeans. But here it is, uh, crossbody on me. And I am 5'6 and a curvy gal. So that's cute. I didn't even have to adjust it. Let's see what it looks like as a shoulder bag. And if I didn't mention it, it does have the little keeper for the extra strap, which is a plus. Here it is on the shortest setting here. And luckily it does have that. So let's see what it looks like shoulder. That's cute. It doesn't slide off my arm. That's good. So here it is, a shoulder bag. What do you guys think? All right, I think I got the perfect pearl bag. What do you guys think? <laughs> I just love the tassel. I, I'm a tassel fan, so. It's funny, the little card wallet is almost a different shade than the taco and the circle bag, but maybe just because it's smaller. Super cute. Super happy with this and the color. Just a slight metallic shine. Perfect. And I was really thinking about Easter. I'll wear probably a printed dress to, on Easter Sunday. So this will go with me. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Do you like my pearl bag and accessories from Portland Leather Good? Let me know down below. Have you tried the circle bag? I've never tried one. The only thing I might not like is that you can't sit it down, you know, flat. I take that back. It is literally standing up in front of me. <laughs> That's perfect because I don't like bags that tip over. So if you're interested in the large circle, it does stand up. Mine stands up just fine. So you can put it on the table and it stands up. Yes, another plus. Okay. All right, maybe I was too harsh on Portland leather goods before because I do like this bag and the little accessories. 
super oh, cute. Thank so you cute. all for watching. If you came over from Autumn Beckman's channel, thank you for coming to watch. And don't forget to watch her video after you watch mine because I'm sure she got some excellent goodies as well. Thank you, Autumn, for collabing with me. And I thank you all for watching my channel and subscribing to both of us. That would be awesome. I'm trying to grow here on my channel. And uh, yeah, I'm actually pleased, very pleased with my outcome on Portland Leather Goods. I still like my Go Forth Goods, but this Portland Leather Goods saved the day when it come to my opinion of this company. So... I knew Autumn has very nice quality pieces and I know that she looks for, you know, the the good leathers and the discounts and I look for deals. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I paid for it. <laughs> for all three items, it was on sale, all of them, and I paid $133 for all three pieces. That's not bad at all. So if you want affordable leather, go to Portland Leather Goods. And Autumn is affiliated with them, so if you buy something, go check her links out. <laughs> I am not. I bought these with my own money. So, thank you again for watching. And don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss my future videos. But until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.